Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Land Raider Crusader slash Redeemer. It's in this box, so we'll open it straight away. There's also a few other things in the box. Uh, I think I ordered some paints. Here it is. Now if you're watching this, I ordered this before all the Death Watch sort of tanks and things like that. I think the Death Watch uh, Land Raider has all three variants in it. I strongly recommend you pick up that one um, instead because you get more, more bits, more sprues, all the rest of it. But if you're just looking for a Crusader or a Redeemer, you can still get this kit. Uh, paints I've got in here, just a bit of a preview really, just, just standard paints. Got some hard coat, some dry, some Nurgle's Rot, which I'm looking forward to, to using. Um, and just your standard wash and, and black. So. But uh, it was in there, so I thought I'd just include them. Right, let's have a look at this uh, tank. Now I'm shooting this video in August, and you'll probably be watching it in October or November, I would have thought. I'll take the uh, shiny plastic off first, make it a little bit easy for us. One of these will set you back, I think it's about £45 or 33 with your discount. But here's a Crusader, and then on the back they've shown the, the Redeemer variant. Um, and it says here, Crusader slash Redeemer. Let's pop the box. Massive box not many sprues and all the pieces are quite spread out this is reminiscent of um, sort of the 90s early 2000s towards 2010 there's still some gaps uh, look so this is a 1999 sprue so you get the side panels of the tank at the top and the engine exhaust stacks more exhaust and the bottom base you also get the uh, the other side of the the tank you get this sprue which you get in the the normal Land Raider set with a load of purity seals and things really nice helmet and storm bolter and then you get the, the Crusader sprue itself which comes with the multi melter the twin linked assault cannons and all the bolt guns yes uh, and also the uh, flamestorm cannons I think they're called so you get these pieces as well and you get the the side armour panels and then I think they're the frag assault launchers. Yes I do have a Crusader and a Redeemer in the chapter. Um, the Redeemer is this kit I think but I think that the Redeemer was a kit by itself at some point. I can't remember too much but either way the Crusader that I have is the very first one that actually all the bolt guns are metal and the frag assault launchers are metal. So this is nice to have an all plastic one and this will be a Crusader, uh, not a Redeemer. Uh, so that's the final sprue. Then you get a little, very small vehicle transfer sheet. Then you get a picture of the tank, what it will look like, and you get some, there you go, or the two variants. And you get the instruction book, and go through all of the, the stages to build it. So that's that. What I'll do is I'll go away, uh, build the, the tank as a Crusader, and I'll come back in part two of the video and just um, give you my take on it and the review. Join me in part two. And welcome to part two. So here is the Land Raider Crusader pattern, fully finished, ready to be sort of brushed and then uh, spray painted. Uh, this time I've gone for the Hurricane pattern bolters at the, the rear of the tank. I've gone for the multi melter at the front. Uh, I've gone for the little sort of radar dish and the storm bolt at the back on its own separate sort of swivel mount and the hurricane hurricane bolter at the back too. I made it so that the uh, the front door can open and close. It's a bit tricky for Land Raiders because the joint is sort of hidden inside the tracks and once you put this outer piece of armour on it sort of forces the mechanism to sort of stay like that. Um, and it can't really move then 
but because it's plastic on plastic it's not as sort of smooth as you'd you'd normally hope uh, it's got the twin linked assault cannons and of course this multi melter uh, excellent anti tank anti armor weapon you of course you can kit it out with a hunter killer missile things like that um, but as I said before I never had one in complete plastic uh, I had one when they first came out in I think I want to say early 2000s but it might even be 96 or 97 um, it's actually this one I brought it along for the ride uh, again this door is very loose though um, a lot looser than the other one and there are actually metal aspects to this I've got a metal assault cannon here that's completely in one one position not quite sure it, why it is actually but it just is um, whereas obviously the plastic one you can move that up and down and I suppose in a way you could even put that on top of a rhino if you've got the right top hatch for it and then say it's a razorback so metal these frag launchers are metal the multi melter is metal countless times that's broken off and also the hurricane bolters that's that's solid metal well it's it's pieces of metal all super glued together and you can just see the difference there look between the two I much prefer the newer sort of all plastic one uh, than than the metal one where obviously look weight weight is an issue, an, an issue there look whereas that one stays exactly where it should be I did wonder about having the heavy bolters closer sort of to match it but I thought well it's for me it's an all brand new tank and um, that I haven't experienced before so I wanted to create it like it is on a box and like it is on various internet web pages and I wanted to put the multi melter as, as close up as possible um, to, to the front of the the vehicle obviously in a chapter you normally have two crusader variants well according to the list I'm looking at and these are dedicated for the first company the first company have a dedicated set of vehicles and then the other companies just draw vehicles as and when needed from the main armory so I just need to obviously spray this and paint it and put highlights on it uh, which I didn't do on that so I may well give this a bit of a refresh I've already given it a bit of a refresh with I just slightly washed the metal parts and the gold parts um, with some brown and black because uh, they were looking really shiny when I first found this out there I think the uh, machine spirit is quite quite active with this one because <laughs> that door, front door keeps open um, so yeah there you go they're the front they're the two uh, crusaders that I'll have in my my chapter but I just thought I'd do a video of the I say new you know the sort of pla all plastic version if you're wondering which one to get they do the normal standard gold hammer one which has the twin link las cannons uh, either Swanson and the heavy bolters at the front it's the same price I think it's I think land rate is 45 quid when I first bought mine I think it was 30 or 35 so they've gone up they haven't gone up that much in 20 years point to mention is that the standard Land Raider doesn't have the multi melter sprue that's on the sprue with the assault cannons and the hurricane bolters and the redeemer uh, the uh, redeemers flamestorm cannons so a good point is if you want the multi melter on a standard Land Raider which the rules allow you to do so my best advice really is to buy the two or three quid more expensive death watch version because that does come with a up, little upgrade sprue but it comes with the parts for both a, a crusader and a god hammer so that's the end of my unboxing and review of the space marine land raider crusader thank you for watching the emperor protects